the production of fiber optic cables would not have been possible without the ingenious process of turning simple silica sand into the highly pure glass that forms the core of modern communications. This starts with the careful processing of silica sand, heated at high temperatures to remove impurities, achieving the necessary purity for optical clarity and performance. Once the glass is sufficiently pure, the next step involves creating a preform, a thick glass cylinder that serves as the blank from which optical fibers are drawn. This process includes depositing layers of silica soot to construct the preform, typically utilizing techniques such as vapor deposition. These layers are accurately controlled to form the core and cladding of the fiber, essential for effective light guidance. This preform is central to the fiber optic cable, carefully crafted to ensure that the fibers drawn from it will provide optimal light transmission capabilities. The integrity of the preform directly influences the performance and efficiency of the fiber optic cables, making this stage of production vital to the success of the entire manufacturing process. The fiber drawing process begins when the preform is heated to a specific temperature that softens the glass, making it pliable enough to be drawn into thin strands. This heating takes place in a carefully controlled environment to ensure that the glass reaches the correct consistency for drawing. As the glass softens, it is extruded through a series of small dies or towers, which pull the molten glass down into fibers with extremely fine diameters. This process, known as drawing, stretches the glass into continuous strands that can be several kilometers long. The speed at which the glass is drawn and the size of the dies determine the diameter and thickness of the fiber, which are critical factors that affect the fiber's optical properties and overall performance. Throughout this process, sophisticated monitoring equipment is used to constantly measure and adjust the diameter and thickness of the fiber to ensure uniformity. This precise control is essential for maintaining the quality and consistency of the optical fibers, which must meet strict industry standards to ensure optimal functionality in their final applications. After the fiber is drawn, it immediately undergoes a coating process to enhance its strength and flexibility. In this stage, the thin strands of fiber are coated with a protective polymer layer. This coating is applied while the fiber is still moving through the production line, ensuring that the delicate glass fiber is protected as soon as it is formed. The polymer used for coating is typically a type of UV curable resin, which is chosen for its ability to form a tough, durable protective layer around the fiber. As the coated fiber passes through a series of ultraviolet light sources, the UV light rapidly cures or hardens the resin, creating a solid yet flexible outer layer that adheres tightly to the glass. This UV curing process is critical as it not only solidifies the coating quickly to prevent any damage to the freshly drawn fiber, but also enhances the overall durability of the fiber. This coating effectively shields the fiber from physical stresses and environmental factors, ensuring that the optical fiber can withstand handling during installation and long-term operational stresses without degradation. Testing for quality and strength is crucial in fiber optic cable production to ensure each fiber meets the necessary standards. Attenuation testing is conducted to measure signal loss as light travels through the fiber, indicating its efficiency in data transmission. This test is essential for evaluating the fiber's capacity to transmit data effectively over long distances. Strength testing assesses the fiber's durability under physical stress. It includes tensile tests to measure resistance to pulling forces and crush tests to evaluate how well the fiber withstands compression. These tests ensure the fiber can endure the demands of installation and long-term usage in varying environments, confirming compliance with industry standards and specifications. Once individual fibers have passed quality and strength tests, they are combined and encapsulated into a protective jacket to form a cable. This process, known as cabling, involves gathering multiple fibers and precisely aligning them within a central core. The core is then surrounded by layers of protective materials, including tough plastics or gel-filled tubes, which shield the fibers from moisture, environmental hazards, and mechanical stresses. Different types of cable designs are tailored to specific uses and environments. For underwater cables, additional layers of armor and waterproof materials are added to withstand the pressures and corrosive elements of marine environments. Aerial cables are designed with strong, lightweight materials that can endure the rigors of being suspended, often with elements to protect against UV rays and weather. 
Buried cables, on the other hand, are encased in tough, impact-resistant materials that protect against moisture, soil acidity, and physical damage from underground activities. These design variations ensure that fiber optic cables can operate effectively in diverse settings, providing reliable, high-speed data transmission across extensive networks.